Welcome to bsdtutorial.org Today we are going to take a look at how we can encrypt our hard disk drive. And encrypt our hard disk drive is one way to make it secure in case we get our hard disk drive stolen so people need to have a file and they need to have a passphrase to be able to open it. Before we start I just want to warn you about one common thing about disk encryption. The most common thing is that when people say that they have encrypted a hard disk drive, in the same moment they have also lost all the data on it because perhaps they have been losing the, the encryption key or either they have been losing their passphrase. So please be careful when you do this and uh, so you don't forget anything to lose any data that you cannot get back from the hard disk drive. I don't know if this will be commonly used but um, I mean that it's cool to be able to encrypt a hard disk drive but you really need to have very sensitive data to take the worth of doing this because it's very big risk that you lose the data in another way if you forget your pass keys. So we are going to use one of the methods with this uh, together with the Guillaume which is called the Guillaume ELI um, and to be able to do this I think first of all we're going to add a hard disk drive to the machine which we are going to work with. In my case I'm using VMware you, and in this case I'm going to add a virtual disk which is the same as a physical disk uh, in the behavior but it's virtual on this system. So I'm going to settings for this virtual machine. I'm going to add a hard disk drive. And I want it only to be one gigabyte in this case. And then OK. <coughs> we were getting a hard disk drive which we're getting a label DA0. This disk can be located under uh, the dev, you can see here. Here we have the disk, DA0. So after we have the hard disk drive, we need to enable the Guillaume ELI. To do this, we need to edit this file, which is located on the boot, and it's called loader.conf. In case it doesn't exist, uh, just create it like this also. Here you need to add the following options Guillaume underscore ELI and you need to add device crypto. We write and save our changes and then we need to reboot the machine after this because this will be a kernel, uh, kernel boot thing that will occur now when we reboot. So now after re the reboot we need to create the key for the hard disk and um, to make it more secure, okay, so how does this work? It works like this, <clears throat> your hard disk drive that's going to be encrypted needs to have a key which is a data file that contains the key which is like a physical key, you need it to open the hard disk drive. This key has to remain, I mean, don't remove it, because if you do after the disk has been encrypted, you, can, you cannot use the disk, you can use the disk, but you cannot access the data decrypted on it. So then it's a need to be reformatted if you lose the key and you will lose all the data on it, because it will just be some garbage that will not be readable if you forget the key. The key will have a passphrase also, which is like a password. So to create this... Um, uh, this thing, uh, I would say if you want it really secure, you could store it on a sort of a USB memory. But keep in mind that if a USB memory gets broken, the key is broken also. So it can be, yeah, I think um, uh, it's up to you how you store this key. <clears throat> I'm going to store it on a hard disk drive just for the purpose when I'm showing how it works to make it more simple. So I'm in the root director right now. And uh, to create this key, we need to use the command dd. Uh, this will not create the key itself, but it will create the medium as a key. I will call this file da0, the name of the disk, dot key. So this has created an empty file now, uh, or a file with something. So um, this is the file you can see here, da0.key, this is the one we're going to use. Now we need to tell Guillaume that we want to, uh, to attach a, uh, a device on this one. So we need to init the key for the device, and this is done with this command.
And notice I'm using using a big caption K here right now. Uh, so that's the key in the road category right now, DA0.key. And it, I'm going to use, now it's the disk I'm going to use it for, which I detach it to. It should be dev DA0. And when I press this uh, command right now, uh, it will ask us what passphrase we want. The passphrase is the, the password for the uh, uh, to be able to enter the disk which is stored on the key file. So I enter something here right now. And this will take a while. And now we have the key created, which is created for the disk DA0. So what we need to do now is to use the key to connect the hard disk drive with. This is done with the command gli attach and now it's a small k here. Uh, the key file, which is this one. And the hard disk drive, which is under here. And now <clears throat> it will ask us for the for the passphrase. This is the one that you were entering in the key when we created it. So now we have our hard disk drive ready to be able to be used. You can see, look under, if we ls under the dev, you will find here, da0 now has da0.eli. This is the one to be used and to be mounted. So what we need to do now is to, um, to format this hard disk drive. But before, since we are going to use it for encrypted purposes, I would recommend that we write some garbage to the disk before we begin to format it by using the random. This is done in the following way. DD if is the input file, which is the input we use to dev random. Output file is where we want it to, where it should happen, and we want it to reach uh, the um, uh, da zero dot eli, the one we are going to use right now, and the block size should be one megabyte. This will use the random as an input and write the random data to the da0.eli disk. This will just take um, a little while because my disk is only one gigabyte, so this won't take too much time. So now it writes the entire disk with random uh, characters. So now when this is done, we are now ready to format the hard disk drive. By using the command ufs da0.eli and now since we have uh, have formatted it we, we are now able to mount it and root it uh, I mean to mount it and um, I'm going to create a directory called private or I would call it uh, encrypted data for example or encrypted disk let's call it like that So now we have the folder encrypted disk. <clears throat> so now I can mount the hard disk drive and use it by using the command mount dev da0.eli. This is the disk you want to mount now because this is the encrypted one. And then you're going to use the, uh, the folder in root, which is uh, this one I created, for example, in this case, encrypted disk. If we look in this uh, directory, you can see that we have a file system now and um, Everything you add into this hard disk drive right now uh, will be under the encrypted disk. So in case that you lose the, the key or you're losing the passphrase, uh, you won't be able to remount the disk again if it has been detached. Uh, so the most important thing is that how do I do now uh, when I want to access the disk one more time and I have the key and a passphrase? Let's do and make a good example like this. Uh, if you look under the dev right now, you see that we have the hard disk drive DA0 and we have the handle to it, which is DA0.eli, which is the encrypted handler for it. When you reboot your machine, you will uh, 
uh, for example, end up in a state where you don't have this one, da0.dli, it will only have da0. So let's make this case that we want to detach it and attach it again, because this is everything you need to know now. Uh, so for example, let's uh, detach it. First we need to unmount it. And before I do that, I need to go out from that category, so I'm, or else I will get a mount error because I'm standing in it. Uh, you can just write cd, press return, it brings you back to the home. So then use the command umount dev da0.dli. This will unmount the drive from uh, the encrypted disk directory. And then we use gli detach. This command will uh, detach the key from the hard disk. It will not remove the key, so it, we will not be able to use it anymore. It's more like it will unplug the, the disk, so we, it will not be um, decrypted anymore. So then we need to attach it again. So this is how it works. If we use this command, it stands that device ds0.eli destroyed. This means that it's not destroyed physically, it's more like it has been the connection from it has been destroyed. So then if you want to connect to it again and to reach your data again, you need to do like this. GLI attach followed by a small caption K. And then you need to uh, to find the uh, the key for it, which is root da0.key. And then the hard disk drive, which is dev da0. So then um, you run this command, and it will attach the com uh, it will ask for the passphrase before it attach. I enter my password, and then we have the hard disk drive and attached again. So then you just need to mount it like this. And remember that you need to mount da0.eli, which is the encrypted handler. And then you can go to the hard disk again. And here you have the hard disk drive. So these are the steps you need to do. This was um, everything for how we can uh, decrypt, I mean, how we can encrypt and decrypt the hard disk drive. And I want you to remember that it's uh, very, it can be very problematic if you lose your key. Keep that in mind. So it's, uh, I, I don't really know any use of encryption. I mean, uh, if you have such data that it's so sen uh, that is so sensitive, it's more like if you're working in some secret project and you need to move between laptop and your home, and then you need to have some security be moving the laptop between the work, perhaps. That would be one way. And in case that you want to use your hard disk drive for something else, uh, just keep in mind that GLI uh, won't write any metadata on it because the only thing is that you have the file, which uh, is the encryption handler, which is the key. And you don't need to remove any data like you were using in, for example, using Geom for RAID mirroring because then you were needing to, to destroy the mirror. Here you don't need to do anything like that. It's just to unplug the device to another computer or use it on the same computer, for example, and then just format it and use it as normal again. Uh, that was everything for this tutorial about encryption. I hope you enjoyed it and take care.